Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is the Expert Angular Interview Series Part 5. And in today's episode, we are covering the topic on Angular HTTP. So we bring you all the top interview question and answers that will be asked on Angular HTTP. If you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before we get started, I want to let you know that there's a lot of hard work that goes into putting these, compiling these questions and the videos. So please, please support me by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. Let's get started with top interview questions on Angular HTTP. So the first question is, what is HTTP client? So almost all of front-end applications communicate with backend services. Now they communicate over HTTP protocols. Either it has to be XML HTTP request or directly a fetch through API. But mostly if you see 90% of the applications will be on XML HTTP request interface. So Angular provides a simplified client called HTTP API, also known as HTTP client, which is based upon on top of XML HTTP interface. So if you want to make any uh, calls to server, any APIs, you have to call HTTP client. Now this client is available in the common packages called HTT at the rate angular common slash HTTP. So what are the benefits of HTTP clients? Why should we use this uh, module? So the major advantages of HTTP client are, it contains testable testability features. So you can basically write test scripts to mock the HTTP request that you're doing in your application. It provides request and response objects, which can be natively used in your application. We can also intercept these requests and responses and process the data accordingly. It supports observable APIs and it supports streamlined error handling. So due to which, if you don't use this module, you'll end up writing a lot of this code by yourself, which is a lot of work. That's why we prefer using native HTTP client. Now this is a three part question. Now they will definitely ask you how to use HTTP client, give me with an example. So the next three slides are going to talk in detail about the implementation. So make sure you follow on the next three slides very carefully and let me know if you have any doubts, I'll be happy to help you. So the first step is, um, so you can explain them that HTTP client is used to make um, the HTTP calls to the backend APIs. So how do you do that? The first step is we will import HTTP client into the root module. Then we will inject the HTTP client module into the application. Then create a component for subscribing the service. So let's see that. So the first step is to import the HTTP client into root module. So you can see here, the, the the module that needs to be imported is called as import HTTP client module. Till Angular 5 and 6, it used to be HTTP client, but afterwards, now it is only HTTP client module. So remember, we have to import the HTTP client module into our root module. And then in the ng module, we are importing it here. This is the first step. This is the step number one. The step number two, is let's so if you wherever you want to use it let's say in mostly you will be using it in a service because that's where you will write all your reusable code for making requests and responses so in your service we will first import http client from angular common http and then in the constructor of the service we will inject it as private http colon http client now you can give any name instead of http but it's a good practice to always give this name HTTP. So this is this is the second step where we have injected uh, the service into the constructor. Now the third step is to actually use it. So we can just say this dot get user profile and we are subscribing. So this is nothing but it's making a call. So if you see here in get user profile in the second step, we are calling this dot HTTP dot get and we are passing the URL. So similarly, first we are passing the URL and it's making the HTTP call. 
in the third step where we actually call that particular method of the service that is where we will it will will just subscribe to it and using the http it will get us the response so make sure you have gone through all the three steps very correctly and remember to understand really well because this will be definitely asked in your interview now how can you read full response so the response body doesn't may, may not contain the full response data because sometimes server returns only special headers or status codes right so in order we will write something called this dot url will write observe response so in order to get the full response we'll pass a parameter we'll have to mention that observe that full response till the full response keep looking for that now how do you perform error handling now this is another tricky question which is asked um, to to check and to to check that whether you have really implemented or not so for example if a request fails in uh, making a call to server right or for some reason it is not able to reach uh, to the server whatever reason it can be 400 error it can be 500 or it can be 403 201 in that it's an error right it will return the http client will always return a error object so in that case we the callback method and mechanism uh, if you see uh, when you subscribe you will get two part, two parts one is the response the other is the error it will always have two uh, responses the response and the error so if it is error we'll say this dot error and maybe show a dialog box or a alert warning right so that is uh, based on how you want to design it in your application but that's how error will be cap caught once you have the error you can always display it in a warning or error message and just show it um, in the, your application all right so that brings us to the part five end of series on http the next part is again going to be on rxjs so you don't want to miss that uh, stay tuned i'll be bringing out that tutorial in just a bit uh, i hope you like this video if you do please give a thumbs up also please do please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me see you in the angular expert angular series part 6